Hey there, everybody. It's Splitty, and welcome to a new playthrough. We're going to play some Mean Streets. It's, it's Tex Murphy Mean Streets. And it's a uh, 1989 Access Software Inc. Uh, d detective y, point and clicky game. And it's going to be pretty fun, I think. I don't know. I actually have never played it before. So this is going to be new. Um, the whole reason I'm even playing this is because it's a, like a six game series that the, the ending game, or at least to this point, is one of the, is an FMV type of game. And that's what I, what I want to get to, but, then, but we need to experience the story, right? Right. So why don't we just start a new game and start a new game. It's great, great, great sounds all around. Your name is Tex Murphy, a private investigator in San Francisco. The year is 2033, and you've just been hired by a beautiful young lady named Sylvia to investigate the death of her father, Dr. Carl Linsky. Dr. Linsky was a prominent professor at the University of San Francisco and had been working on a secret project. Sylvia had asked him about his work several times, but he would not talk about it. Then a few days ago, he jumped, or was pushed, from the Golden Gate Bridge. The police are sure it was a routine suicide. But Sylvia thinks it's thinks it was murder. Your job is to solve the case. You have been given ten thousand dollars cash by your client, and you have five leads. Please refer to the "Getting Started" section of the manual for a list of your leads and some important suggestions. Be sure to write things down and be careful to spell correctly when questioning suspects. Use people's full names. So, <laughs> if you don't have the manual to the game, you need either a walkthrough or you would have no idea what you're doing. However, I'm going to show you the five leads they give you. Give me just a moment. So here we have the instructions, the instructions to the game. And if we scroll down to, well, this is the story. It's really long. I was thinking about reading it, but it's really... It's really long. I mean, look how long that is. You can read it if you want. But, let's see, we have... We should ask people about the following. So they want us to ask stuff about this. And also, where is the... The, where is it? They give you, oh, it's right, it's literally right there. So they give you five names and who they are and where they, they live or whatever. So you have Carl Linsky is a professor that jumped to his death from the Golden Gate Bridge. He worked at the University of San Francisco. His nav code is 4663. Then we have Sylvia, who's his daughter, who hired us. Of course, we just learned that. And her nav code is 4421. I should probably write these down, but I haven't yet. I'm going to, though. I promise. Then we have John Richards, who is the medical examiner. His office is at nav code 4670. Dolores Lightbody was Carl's, Carl Linsky's fiance. She lives at nav code 4920 and we have Steve Clements who is the police detective in charge of the case his nav codes at 4680 you go visit these people or places and ask questions about names you found be sure to use people's full names in addition to questioning them about other people you should ask them about the following all of this stuff now, where you get from point A to B or whatever is you use that car he just got in, that you saw me get in. We're probably going to be using uh, autopilots because I don't want to vroom vroom around. So, 
yeah. Once we do that, we're gonna give we we search rooms, we do all sorts of things. And here we go. Let's go ahead and switch back over to the game and let's get started. Alright, well, we have our cash. We have our everything. We have help by pressing H. We can pitch up, down, we can phone Vanessa, phone Lee. We need to use the autopilot, which is P and A. So, let's P, A, P. Uh, how do we, how do we put in a, oh boy. How do we put in a nav code? We can put in a nav code by... Well, we're definitely going to turn off the engine sound. There we go. Ha 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 ha. Oh, navigation comp. We should go N. Ha ha. Current position. How do we enter nav code? Well, it's the first place we're probably going to want to go to. Um, we'll probably just, we should probably go to his office, which is, it was 4663. I can't use that. Do we hit enter? Destination locked. There's a fax. From Vanessa to Tex Murphy, P.I. Here's that article on the Linsky death. Noted professor found dead. Prominent for University of San Francisco professor Carl Linsky was found dead early Sunday in what police are calling a suicide. West Precinct Detective Steve Clements, we have his nav point, said a witness saw Linsky jump from the Golden Gate Bridge about 11.20 last night. A suicide note was all, has also... Was. That, that's a W was also found at his home address to his daughter, Sylvia. Um, of space. Uh, Linsky's fiance, Dolores Lightbody, indicated that the professor had been under a great deal of stress and had taken a leave of absence from his teaching duties at the university. Funeral services will be held at 10 Wednesday, September 24th at the all okay let me let me write that down real quick because it's gonna I wonder if that's gonna come at the All Saints Church so I wonder if we're supposed to go there oh escape to exit now did, did we put in our nav point I got dirt back on the engine Turn it off the engine. Um, do we have our nav point fixed? Uh, I don't know if that messed up anything, so I'm going to put it back in. It's 4663. Hit enter. It's locked. And now I need to go... Do I turn the autopilot on now? Ooh! We're driving. Is this going to be just the noise? Oh, there it goes. It sounds terrible. This game was actually the, if you saw in the instruction booklet, they really want to do. Are we moving? Are we there? I do not know what's going on, but we, they really lauded the sound blaster experience, because it was so cool. Press E. University of San Francisco. The instructor's offices at the University of San Francisco are small cubicles attached to the main classroom areas. I walk down the I walk down the corridor and find the door with Professor Linsky's name on it. 
I try the door, but it's locked. I pull my private detective... <laughs> okay. Private detective all-purpose door opening kit and quickly pop it open. I scan the office, but it looks like no one has been here for quite some time. There are miscellaneous notes on the desk and textbooks in a bookcase on the wall. I examine the notes, but they don't strike me as important to the case. An additional five to ten minutes of search produces nothing I can use. Nothing else to see or do at this location. Well, why do? Alright then. Well, Sylvia's not... Okay, yeah. No. Okay, I want that sound to go away. Sylvia's the next on the list, so we may as well go there. Um, let's, hers is four, four, two, one. Pop that in. Are we just going to go there? Do I have to hit P? Or was it A? There we go. See, I don't mind it on when we're traveling, because it would make sense, but when it's just idling, it's super annoying. Whoa. We're going so fast. We're going into the future. <laughs> oh, the noises are pretty good. You could have actually, they had a way for you to set the sounds up to go out like stereo speakers. Pretty crazy. Are we landing yet? What are we doing? Are we landing? Are we landed yet? Um, okay. What? What's going on? I don't drive a flying car, so I don't know how this works. Tex. Babe, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Okay, now we're, we're going down now. We we had to get right over the sweet spot on that on that landing pad. The sweet spot. I have a feeling the traveling is going to be the most boring part of this game. <laughs> uh, but we'll make it work. It's only the first game. Let's go ahead and exit. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. The bell chimed inside, and after a moment, Sylvia opened the door. She wore a pale blue blouse and white shorts that were short enough to be... How do I continue the thing? Oh. <laughs> to be friendly. She was... Wait, why'd the sound go off? Oh. She was about as... She was as beautiful as ever, with her soft blonde hair, clear blue eyes. I knew I was start starting to fall for her. Really? It's been like two seconds. Unless there was something in the backstory. <laughs> Careful, I reminded myself. She's a client, and a falling for a client is dangerous in my business. Still, if only I knew how she felt for me. Well, I mean, she was like, ah, ah. I think that means she, uh, she likes you there, friend. She, she likes you. So I guess we should ask her about her dad. So do we question? Tell me about Carl. I mean, they said to use full names, so I'm assuming we use. Was that was that how it was spelled? I think that was L Y. No L. I think it was L I. No nope, L I. Um. Because it said they use full names, so he was happy at USF. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh, we got a new, we got a new thing. U S F, and that's at four six. Wait, don't I have that? Oh no, we have that. He was happy at USF. Then he took a leave of absence to do some consulting work, and his whole personality changed. I'm sure he was in some sort of trouble. Because of this, I don't believe he committed suicide. I've lost both my father and the insurance money. 
Okay. All right. And I'm going to find out why. If you need to look through his apartment, it's located at... Oh, okay. <clears throat> Got a thought frog in my throat. We can go... We can go... Uh, Carl... Apartment. And that's at 4660. Alright, we're going to ask her... She said something about insurance money. Oh, we can bribe or threaten? <laughs> okay. Tell me more. Tell me how you feel about me. Do you like me? I think you're kind of cute. All right, so uh, let's question again. Let's ask her about insurance. You know, we need to know about Geico. What? You're thinking I might have killed my father for the insurance money, aren't you? I'm not going to deny that I could use the $1 million. But I honestly believe that my father was murdered, and if he was entitled... And if he was, I'm entitled to the money. But if you investigate his death and you're convinced it was a suicide, I'll accept the, your findings. Is there anything else that we could ask? There's really nothing here that I think she would know. Like, why would she know anything about Gideon Enterprises, MTC Corp? Um, so... What? Let's go ahead and leave here for now. And we do have his apartment, but we do also have the other three people we can talk to. So we may as well do that. The next one was John Richards. So let's go ahead and go there. So we need to get, pull up our nav computer. Enter a nav code, and his code was 4670. Put that in. And then hit A, and away we go! We're gonna fly away. I want to fly away. It's like a manual transmission, except not. So is the the left hand the accelerator, and then the right hand's the controls? Your feet do nothing now? How lazy. Landing, landing. So... We're gonna, we should probably ask John about Carl. Uh, we should probably ask everybody about Carl, honestly, since that's what we're doing. Because we have John, Dolores, who was his fiance, and then we have Steve, who's the detective on the case. So, between all of them... We should learn something. Have we landed yet? Jeez. It's good to go down. There we go. Landing. Landing. Eventually. There we go. Loading. Walking inside the medical examiner's office is a truly depressing experience. Long, cold, dark corridors and stainless steel utensils everywhere. They've gotten so busy down here, they've had to install a conveyor belt. I wonder how much longer I've got before the meat wagon brings me here for my ride down the disassembly line. John Richards, the M.E., meets me in the examination room. He's pretty strange. But it would take someone who's pretty strange to do a job like this. Oh, hey, John. You've got your gloves on still. And it looks like you're eating a sandwich. So we'll ask him about Carl Linsky. Wait, did I spell it right? I think I spelled it wrong. 
Carl. It was is it it's Lynn not Link. I think I spelled it right, didn't I? Oh, I guess I I guess I I guess I spelled it wrong. Tell you about Linsky's death. Nothing odd about this one. He jumped off the bridge. Massive shock when he hit. Lungs filled with water. Dead as a rock. I'll send you a copy of the autopsy report. Is there, is there anything that he would need to know about? Mm, doesn't look like it. Out of all the things we have right now, he probably doesn't know anything. So we're gonna, we should get an autopsy report. I get, oh, here we go. So we have the autopsy report. It is an autopsy has performed been an autopsy was performed. That's not an H. That's a W. On the body of Carl Linsky at the office of the medical examiner on the twenty first day of September twenty thirty three. He was five ten, blonde. Body is cool to touch with fixed vigor in the extremities. Neck, head, brain, small burr hole in the skull indicates recent surgery. Structure at the base of brain intact. Neck shows massive damage to spinal cord caused by severe impact. The pulmonary system is purple and shows a large amount of blood and frothy fluid in the chest and stomach. Death caused by massive shock and drowning. Time of death estimated between 10 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. I wonder if they, we should write down that he had surgery. That should probably be something that we want to know. Carl had surgery. Because um, we may want to ask his fiance about that. Maybe she will know. Speaking of which, that's our next. Yep, that's our next. Our next destination. So let's go to the nav computer. Go. Nav code and hers is four nine two zero. Enter destination locked. And now we sit back once more and have a fun time. Have a fun time on my rocket car. I'm flying so far and free. I think we're moving. Are we moving? I think we are. I don't. This autopilot's kind of terrible. We'll get there eventually. We flying? We landing? I wasn't paying attention. Land! Land! These parts are going to be so terrible. I'm, I may skip out the traveling <laughs> coming up because it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I don't like it. Dolores Lightbody lives in a well-kept Victorian house in a neighborhood filled with the, with the houses of attorneys and bankers. I walk up to the front door and ring the bell. She answers the door. Miss Lightbody's not what I expected. She has the face of a saint. A saint Bernard. Wow, dude. Wow. Well, okay, well. <laughs> Excuse me. Not what I was expecting. All right, so uh, let's question her. Tell her to ask Carl Lin Linsky. 
Cora was my fiance. He had been quite upset lately. He was worried about the project he was working on. He would talk about it in specifics. Carl Liv yeah, we have that. But he didn't work there. I think he had a lab somewhere in the city. His work must have been for the government because everything was top secret. Um, can we ask her about, is it Sylvia? Ask about his daughter. Sylvia and I never got along very well. When her father died, she was quite upset. She was even more upset when she talked to Peter Dull. Who? All right, I guess I'm going to have to ask about Peter Dull. Good old, good old Pete. The insurance agent. It seems... Oh, he's the insurance agent. It seems the insurance company will not pay the million dollars because her father's death was declared a suicide. Excuse me. Do you know about Peter Dull? He works at Carl's insurance agent. He works at... Ooh, we get a new one. Insurance agent. And he's at 4674. Sweet. Um, we can ask her about the insurance. Carl had taken a life insurance policy out several months ago. He was worried about his health and wanted to leave his daughter something. Well, that's all she said. Um, what else can we ask? Oh, does she know if he had surgery? Nope. Okay, she doesn't know anything about it. All right, well, we are, we have Peter Dull's number, and we have Steve's, who's the, the case. We may go to Steve next. So, let's exit. When we come back, we will... I'm going to shut off that real quick. When we come back, we will... Uh, Continue on, we'll check out with Steve, and then we'll probably go check out Peter, or maybe even go to uh, Linsky's apartment. Check that out. We have, we have a lot of things we can do now. So till then, y'all take care. And of course, have a good one.